Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with head men's basketball coach Speedy Claxton. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing great, Stephen. How about yourself? Good. A little break in the schedule here. Uh, more than you were going on a little trend of like two games a week, and now you've had a week off. You'll have a week off until the uh, Arkansas game. Uh, what has this week been like, other than kind of, you know, obviously the finals and other aspects of it? It's been, it's been good because um, – some of these guys needed some rest to kind of heal up and, you know, work on their academics. So it was the, the, the time was definitely needed. Um, and we're grateful, you know, Zach is a little banged up. He has a little hip issue. So we was able to hold him out of practice yesterday and we're off today. So hopefully he can get healed up and um, so can the rest of these guys. Uh, the best part about your schedule right now, heading into this Arkansas game is your last six games have all been on Long Island. So after an incredible travel schedule to start the year, you've kind of been able to regroup and stay in the same time zone for a little bit. Uh, how important has that been to kind of find your legs and, you know, maybe some good teaching moments for your team? Very important. You know, um, these kids are used to um, this environment. So, you know, whenever you're used to the environment, um, you're, you're more comfortable. And, you know, if you're comfortable, you're going to play better. Um, so I think that had a lot to do with it. Um, and, you know, it's just good to be home, man. Good to be in your own bed um, and just, you know, be, be, be in a comfortable environment. You know, it was a tough stretch to, to, start, to start the year. I felt like we was in a different hotel room um, every other night. So, you know, the homestand was definitely needed. Uh, I, you've talked about uh, your team and after that Stony Brook loss, uh, how, I guess, how are you, what did you think about your team's response to that loss, both in practice and then even in the John Jay game, even though it was against a game against a lower level competition? Yeah, I thought we responded well. Um, we, unfortunately, we needed that Stony Brook game to kind of snap us back into reality and get us back focused on what we need to, to do to be a, a really good team. Um, so, you know, the, the, the next couple of days after Stony Brook, it was all about us. Um, we didn't really talk about John Jay. We wanted to get back to, to being that gritty defensive team that, that we have been. And, um, you know, we kind of came out against John Jay and was like, yo, let's not play the score. Let's just play the right way and worry about our defensive principles and what we're supposed to be doing out on the court. And the John Jay game, you guys won your sixth straight home game dating back to last year. Uh, clearly, there's something working well when you're at home for most teams. But when you win six straight, a little more than just a little something's going well. What have you seen at home this year that has allowed your team to be successful? Like I said before, um, it's a it's a familiar environment. Um you know, we're, we're used to shooting on these rims. Um, you know, we actually have people cheering for, for us when we make shots. And that's going to that's gonna make you play better um, when you have fan support, you have family and friends in the crowd, and everybody wants to play good in front of the, in front of the people. So um, being at home is, is good for us. And in the John Jay game, you were able to get some guys who don't see extended minutes, some extended minutes, aside from the players that are looks like they're going to redshirt this year. Uh, but like a Jaquan Carlos yeah. saw significant minutes. What did you see from him in that game? Something we haven't talked a lot about this year. <laughs> yeah, those games are important for guys um, like him because he's able to see extended minutes, like you said, and we're able to kind of get a better evaluation um, of him in some real live game moments. Um, I think he has a very good upside. You know, he's a freshman. He's going to have some good days. He's going to have some bad days. But um, the promise is there, and we're happy that he's part of the program. And, Speedy, your next game is this Saturday at Arkansas, uh, another uh, NCAA tournament team from a year ago. They went to the Elite Eight. Uh, the interesting connection to this weekend is – Speedy Claxton is coaching against one of his NBA coaches. I don't know what's more remarkable that he was an NBA coach almost 20 years ago, or you were in the NBA almost 20 years ago. But <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts going into this game? A, a, a really great, one, a great test for your team, but uh, 
kind of a reminiscing moment for you as uh, facing one of your NBA coaches? Yeah, definitely. It, it's going to be fun to, to square off against much. You know, he's one of my former coaches when I was in the NBA, and we had a great relationship. Um, he, he, I probably had my best statistical year playing for him. Um, you know, he was a player's coach. He, he let me go out there and play, and he gave me the utmost confidence in myself and my ability. So it was easy to play for him. So definitely happy to, to be able to compete against him and see him again. And, you know, playing against August, uh, another ranked opponent, um, it's going to be good for my kids. Um, whenever you can play against that kind of competition, I think it's going to bring the best out of you. And hopefully we can, uh, we can knock one of these guys off. I mean, you know, this is our last opportunity to do it, um, knock, off, knock off one of these ranked opponents. So hopefully we can get it done this time. Well, Coach Claxton, we wish you good luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Stephen. And thank you, Hofstra fans, for joining us today in the W. Mason Coach Report with head men's basketball coach, Speedy Claxton.